Students, when was one of your teachers arrested in the middle of the class? I got a wild one for you guys. We had a teacher absolutely lose his marbles one day. The class started out normal. Roll was taken, and the lecture was starting. There was one kid that loved to give teachers a hard time, and was constantly acting up. We'll call him Jim. Jim started making really quiet noises, they were loud enough to be heard in a quiet classroom. The teacher was becoming visibly frustrated. Eventually, he yelled out for Jim to knock it off. Jim acted like he didn't know what he was talking about. Jim started accusing the teacher of hearing things, just trying to keep the joke going. All of a sudden the teacher's face is red, and he looks like he is gonna pop. The teacher grabs Jim and starts yelling in his face. The teacher was yelling things like, you'll never graduate high school, you'll end up homeless and on drugs, and your mom must be so disappointed to have you as a son. The last remark set Jim off. Jim's mother had just run off, and left Jim and his dad. Jim starts yelling back, and cussing the teacher out. It's getting really tense. A girl in the back of the classroom had managed to call up to the front office, and told them what was going on. Next thing we know the teacher throws a punch and Jim is on the floor. Jim's nose is clearly broken and bleeding. The teacher looks like he's going to kick him. Thankfully, the door slammed open right then and the SRO, school resource officer, walked in. He grabbed the teacher and put him in cuffs. He walked out with him, and the principal and secretary came in immediately after. The secretary helped Jim to his feet and took him to the office to wait for an ambulance. The principal asked us all to write down what happened and asked if anyone recorded what happened. One kid said he only started recording when the teacher grabbed Jim. The principal had him ML the video to him. The teacher was fired on the spot. We never found out what caused him to just go bananas like that. Strangest day off school ever. This is my brother's friend's story. My brother's name is Dave and his friend is called Skeep. I don't know why, don't ask. Well, Skeep and this one teacher, Mr. Dillard, didn't get along. Skeep was one of the very few Hispanic students at this school, and it was widely known that this teacher was racist. The teacher would constantly misplace Skeep's work. He also loved to berate Skeep in front of the class, and call him stupid, because he hadn't gotten fluent in English yet. Skeep got really tired of this, and decided to take some revenge. He watched Mr. Dillard for a few days, and noticed that he kept an external hard drive in his desk, and was very protective of it. Skeep decided to steal it. Dave created a distraction in the hallway one day. Skeep then stole it out of the desk, and ran out the room for his next class. Dave went to Skeep's house after school that day, so they could look at the drive together. They plugged it into Skeep's laptop, and started going through files. They found pornography with minors in it. Some of it was selfies from girls at the school, the rest was much younger kids. They promptly shut it, and decided to take it to the principal the next day. They skipped first period, and took it directly to her. She looked it over, and called the cops immediately. She had them stay in her office, and left to help the police get to him. He was walked out in cuffs. Dave and Skeep were witnesses in the trial. Mr. Dillard's lawyer tried to argue that it wasn't his hard drive, but it had his tax info on it as well. He went to jail for a long time. I wasn't in the class when it happened, but was coming in after it happened. For clarity, the teacher will be called milliseconds. Jaden the student will be called Ava. Ava was not a great student. She honestly just came to school, because that had to- She was failing milliseconds. Jade's class, she had like a 22 milliseconds. Jade called Ava's parents, and told them she was failing, and that she was in danger of being held back. Apparently, Ava had been faking her report cards, and forging her mother's signature. Ava had her phone taken, and was grounded for 3 months. Ava was pissed to say the least. She came in the next day and shoulder checked milliseconds. Jade. Then she stomped on milliseconds. Jade's foot. Milliseconds. Jade punched her in the face and the two started fighting. School staff pulled them apart. Ava broke free and started attacking milliseconds. Jade again. Ava got kicked in the mouth for it. They were separated again. Both of them were walked out in cuffs. Milliseconds. Jade did not come back. Ava deserved it. 
I just started attending a new high school and there was a rumor going around for ages that one of the music teachers had sex with a student, but was never proven. It had become a joke for most students, all the boys claiming to have had sex with her. I honestly though it was just a mean rumor. Then during my second year she was found by her class at the end of lunch in the instrument storage room giving a BJ to one student, while another one was watching. The police were called, and she was walked out flanked by two officers. Made papers and all but was tactfully put as teacher fired for misconduct or something like that. About a year later I find out the first student is now married to her, and they have a child together, as well as him become stepdad to her 4 years old daughter. I guess in the end it turned out well for them. Right before I graduated from high school my sophomore world history slash geography teacher was arrested for child pornography. He was arrested in his classroom during third period. He was easily everyone's favorite teacher and rightfully so. To this day we still discuss things he taught in his class and lessons he taught us. He also was the head of a club on campus that did world history tours. Our class went to Italy and Greece with he and several chaperones, most of which were former students of his. He was offered a plea deal that he rejected and was convicted of 22 counts of possessing images of child pornography. He's currently serving 222 years in jail for his crime. His appeal was heard by the Supreme Court, and it was denied. I personally don't know how to look at him now. On one hand he was easily the best educator I had. Best classroom environment ever. I learned and retained more information from his class than any class I took in high school. On the other the crime he was convicted for is just terrible. I'm on a throwaway account to tell this one. I got a teacher arrested. She was a science teacher at my high school. She was a very nice lady, or so it would seem. She helped kids with their homework, before and after school. She set up an account on a messaging service, so we could send her questions after school hours if we needed. She seemed like a wonderful teacher. I went to her classroom after school one day, to get some help with my homework. It was just the two of us in the classroom. She stood very close to me, and kept touching my arms. She even made the comment, that I smelled really nice which, in normal circumstances, would have been fine. She just kept getting more and more touchy. Eventually, she ran a hand up and down my leg, over and over again. I jumped up, and tried to leave, but she grabbed me, and pushed me into a corner in the back. She had started to push me into a chair nearby when there was a knock on the door. She looked me in the eye, and told me that, if I told anyone she would fail me. I nodded and grabbed my stuff and left. Another student walked in as I ran out. I went straight to the principal, and told him what happened, after sobbing into his shirt for a few minutes. He calmed me down, called the cops and my mom, and held my hand until my mom got there. She was arrested, and more girls came forward to reveal, that she had done similar things to them. She is still in jail. My history teacher was old white man. Honestly, I don't know, why he was a teacher. He constantly complained about hating kids, and how he was glad he never had any. He was just the worst type of person. We mostly taught ourselves, because he refused to. He was easily taunted into rages and he would often say really awful things, when he was angry. One day took the cake though. A group of boys were acting up, and riling him up. He got fed up with them, and yelled that they were lucky he wasn't allowed to carry his gun on campus or else he would have shot all of them by now. He then proceeded to mumble racial slurs about them under his breath. Several students reported him, as soon as the class was over. He was escorted out of the school, and directly into a squad car within 20 minutes. My 9th grade lit teacher was pulled out of class by 3 officers. We were all in shock. She was a sweet lady, never got angry, always made sure everyone had lunch. She was an angel. I didn't find out until a few years later what happened. She had dropped of some film at Walmart to be developed. It was a bunch of candid family photos. Among the photos, was a couple picture of her two sons playing in the bathtub together. The person developing the photos called the cops. My teacher and her husband were arrested on child pornography charges. They've been fighting it, since they were convicted. It is so stupid, every parent has pictures of their kids in the bathtub. She was a great teacher and her life was ruined, because she wanted some pictures of her sons. At my school the counselor and a teacher were married. They seemed like completely normal people. 
I often spoke to the counselor about scholarships and college options for me. I'm poor. He seemed like a normal guy. I had the wife as a teacher for geometry. She was a little quirky, but nothing terribly strange. I was a senior, and was using one of my electives, to be an office aide. I answered phones, filed things, assisted the from office staff, and checked students out. It was my fourth period time slot. One day, I'm doing my thing in the office by myself as the secretary has run to the library, to get some things copied. I hear the front door open. So, I turn to look, and in walks three police officers. They look at me, and ask if a staff member is available to speak with them. I tell them to hold on a moment and I would call into the principal's office. I called him, and told him, that there were three police officers in the front office. He comes rushing down the hall to the office to greet them. He takes them back to his office. At this point, I figured I wasn't going to hear anything else. So, I continued doing my jobs as the office aide. Next thing I know, I see counselor and his wife being walked out in cuffs. I'm shocked and confused. The secretary came back from the library and I tell her everything that happened. She gives me a look, and tells me, that she is going to find out what happened. She scurries down to the principal's office and waits for him to come back. Five minutes before I have to got to my next class, she reappears. She tells me, that the husband and wife were not who they said they were. They had gotten busted for drug charges across the country, and had fled here. All of their documentation had been fake. Neither one of them had a degree, or had ever done the jobs before. It was a wild story. Biggest scandal in the state for a while. I live in an area, where drug crimes are prevalent. Everyone knows someone who is dealing. You could get whatever you wanted, as long as you could pay for it. We had the drug dogs come into our school once a week. They always caught someone. It was never a surprise, when they would take someone out in cuffs. It was a Wednesday afternoon, when the dogs came. They had them sniff our lockers, our bags, and around the parking lot. The art teacher got caught with some in her purse and even more in her car. She tried to run. She got to the property line in the back, before she tripped and twisted her ankle. She was caught moments later. She was charged with possession and intent to sell. From what I heard, her whole trunk was full. She was a wonderful teacher. I always wondered what caused her to start selling drugs. Then I found out what teachers make. My old high school had a teacher who would take pictures of girls who were sitting in skirts. A bunch of girls tried to say something a couple times, but he was so cool to all the guys, that nobody believed them. Finally, one kid walked up to his desk, while he was taking a picture, and yanked the phone out of his hand, called him a pedophile, and ran to the main office. The police were called. He tried to run. Got hit by a police car as he tried to run off school grounds. He was taken to the hospital and he only sustained minor injuries. He is now in jail and a lot of girls celebrated that weekend.